Welcome back to another EJ Bits review. Here we have the Come Together V Bioplasma Air Sterilizer you can purchase on Shopee. So this product is made in Korea and it will come from Korea and we will be testing out and showing you if it is truly anti-coronavirus, is it antivirus, is it antibacterial and does it eliminate VOCs or volatile organic compounds. So I have my own independent experiment on, you know, the elimination of VOCs or the chemicals found in your, you know, air and atmosphere within your room. I will also be showing you different laboratory tests from accredited labs in US and also in Korea just to show you if this product really is true. It claims to, you know, eliminate viruses, you know, 99% of, you know, air pollutants in 10 minutes. So let's find out if this is true. And if you remember, I created a review on a HEPA filter air purifier. That is a very cheap product. This product you can purchase on Shopee and it's made in Korea. It comes from Korea and it's a bit more expensive. And this product doesn't require any maintenance. The only maintenance required is just you need to brush, you know, the insides just to make sure that there is no dust buildup. But, you know, that, that's all when it comes to maintenance compared to your HEPA filter air purifier you need to change you know the filter every six months which is really very you know uh resource consuming so as you can see this is how the unit looks like inside so it is a bioplasma technology you know and according to the company they do not produce ozone within the product so if you are familiar with you know those little small necklace air purifiers they are you know ozone generators they also produce ions so ozone is not very good according to the company and this doesn't em emit o ozone so it emits bipolar you know positive and negatively charged ions as well as their technology called bioplasma which eliminates you know the pollutants in the air and this is what i will show you later through our laboratory tests so after plugging in with the usb-c the first mode as you can see two lights are open this is the turbo mode and this is the regular mode. So the difference between those two modes is that the turbo mode, you know, has, you know, a more powerful fan. And, you know, the regular mode just, you know, has a, you know, a nice normal fan. So this is very silent even though, you know, it has two modes. And the difference between the modes is if you want, you know, the negatively charged and positively charged ions and also the bioplasma to reach a, a longer radius. So if your room is big, you know, if you are using this in, you know, probably a pharmaceutical or a food or restaurant experience, you need to choose the turbo mode. For me, in my case, I will be using this in my own room. So you don't need turbo mode. We just need the normal mode for this product. So let's continue. These are some examples of the wearable necklace air purifiers and some sources say that they, you know, produce ozone which is a lung irritant. So let's take a look at the Come Together Bioplasma Ozone Emission Test. So the WHO recommendation is below 0.05 ppm, that's the concentration. And after one hour of operation, as you can see in their device, it produces 0.001 ppm, which is safe for the human body. Of course, we have even more tests. You know, aside from these video tests, I also have actual laboratory results from, you know, different laboratories. So please stay tuned until the end of the video for that. So let's take a look at, you know, what happens here, you know, more bioplasma modules or, you know, this actual air sterilizer machine, you know, the smoke becomes thinner quickly. And here in the right side, there's only one module. As you can see right here, it's still quite powerful. And really, you know, if you want to reduce odors in your room and reduce, you know, the air contaminants, I can attest it actually works. And let's find out what the results are. So now let's move on to the actual testing. But before that, let's talk about these three things. TVOC, HCHO, and CO2. Total volatile organic compounds, they are a group of VOCs used to represent the entire pool of pollutants. TVOCs are caused by, you know, different household products, cleaning products, you know, perfumes, and, you know, many different paint, for example, and, you know, uh, varnishes, wax substances. And, you know, these are not too dangerous as long as you are within this recommended range according to WHO. And uh, if you exceed these recommended ranges in, you know, a closed space or in a room a scenario, uh, you could experience some irritations, skin irritations, and I actually explained this in detail 
in our air purifier video but it's important that you watch this video instead because we will be comparing the results of the air purifier, the HEPA filter versus this Bioplasma air sterilizer from Come Together. Okay? HHO or formaldehyde is a colorless flammable strong smelling chemical that is used in building materials and to produce many household products. 0.12 milligrams per cubic meter is the recommended value uh, according to WHO. So again, these are all recommended values within an enclosed room. And CO2 concentration is less than 600 ppm because too much CO2 levels indicates you know, inadequate ventilation. So let's move on to the actual testing. So using our air quality monitor, we could find out the TVOC values, you know, the HHO values, our carbon dioxide concentration, and also our temperature, although temperature is not very important for our testing. So first, we need to calibrate our air quality monitor. As with every experiment, you need to calibrate to, to you know, reduce any possible errors caused by external or internal factors. So as you can see right here, after the calibration stage, we move on to our before. This is my room right here, as you can see. Exceeded the TVOC count by 0 0.007. And uh, these are the recommended values from WHO. As you can see, this is our, you know, control. This is before using an air purifier or the bioplasma air sterilizer from Come Together. Okay, let's move on to the after. As you can see, after three hours of using the HEPA filter, the air purifier, we see some, you know, decreased results for TVOC. I'll go back to the before and after. Okay, now, after, you know, not using the air purifier for many, many weeks, now we test our Bioplasma air sterilizer and take a look at the results after one hour of using the product with the Come Together Bioplasma air sterilizer super low values compared to the air purifier after three hours oh take a look tvoc levels are very very low even below the recommended values how about the how about the formaldehyde uh, concentration 0 0.055 for the air purifier 0 0.025 for the air sterilizer so that's really really good and how about the co2 levels it's also decreased let's take a look after one day of using the air sterilizer, although I will not use this as, you know, uh, our data point because it's too it's too good to be true, and uh, this is after one day of using the Come Together. Personally, I noticed that there is less odor in my room, but let's take a look at the TVOC level HHO, all zero. But for our graphing test, I will compare the Come Together air sterilizer after one hour of usage versus. 3 hours of usage using the air purifier. So let's take a look. Using the HEPA filter, this is our regular air purifier. It decreased the TVOC by 30.97%. It decreased formaldehyde by 31.25%. And it decreased carbon dioxide concentration by 4.83%. How about the Come Together Bioplasma Air Sterilizer right here? It decreased it by 68%. As you can see, look at the graph right here. 68% reduction. That's very good. How about formaldehyde? It decreased it by 68.75%. So that's also very good. How about carbon dioxide levels? It also decreased by 11.15%. So this is very, very good. In terms of the data, we can see that the Come Together Air Sterilizer is good and we could you know, probably conclude that it is effective in eliminating volatile organic compounds and formaldehyde concentrations in your room. Now let's move on to some of the more intricate values and you know some of the claims they have here in their product. Now that we've proven the contaminants now destroys contaminants, let's proceed to destroys bacteria and destroys viruses. So for destroys bacteria, we will find out you know uh, the testing using the plate count agar method. So we will find out if it actually eradicates you know bacteria and if this is useful for your room. Okay, and we will also find out if it eradicates or, you know, it removes totally viruses, destroys viruses. I will show you some laboratory results, so stay tuned for that. Let's first talk about their FDA registration. So the product is registered under, under you know, uh, 
Lina Technology LLC, that's the certificate holder, Biomed Air Power Product. So their device is listed in you know their FDA registration. So take this with a grain of salt. This registration is for the USA. But again, this is a Korean product. First, let's focus on this one first, Common Bacteria Removal. So this experiment was done in USA. The test is done in the Coin Karaoke Room. And uh, it is to test out, you know, before using the plasma generator or, you know, our air sterilizer versus after using, you know, uh, our air sterilizer. Does it make a difference? Does it reduce the number of, you know, uh, bacteria? You know, bacteria will be measured in um, CFUs or colony forming units. So as you can see here, uh, if we take a look at this one right here, the right side, uh, our Petri dish right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, probably 16 or more than 16. Uh, this is my, oh yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, this is the 72 hours. So this is, as you can see right here, using just the air capture method for the plate, plate count agar versus using uh, the plate count agar plus the plasma sterilization. As you can see, less colony forming units or, you know, the conclusion would be less bacteria here after using. So it's effective. Let's take a look at the actual results. 50 CFU for 48 hours of incubation time. After using our air sterilizer, only 16 CFU. That's a really good change. This is this is it right here. 48 hours, figure number 8. That's really good. That's a thumbs up for that. Thumbs up. 72 hours, here we have it right here. 105 colony forming units versus 29 colony forming units. So this is really, you know, this is really something. This says that it is quite effective in, uh, you know, eliminating at least some form of bacteria. Unfortunately, I, I'm not sure if they mentioned here how many replicates did they use for their uh, plate count agar, you know, how many Petri plates did they use, you know, did they use proper, you know, aseptic technique or something like that. But what we can find here, the conclusion, as you can see, it is confirmed that the cleanliness level of the coin karaoke, you know, is improved using the air plasma sterilization from class D to class C according to their study. So that's very good. Let's move on to some of the some of the claims they make and some of the key features it is through bioplasma technology according to them i'm just reading here so it breaks down odors i i believe this because it happened to me allergens chemical vapors indoor pollutants and also it disinfects bacteria viruses and uh, fungus unfortunately we don't have uh, a laboratory study for fungus but you know i i hope this is true let's improve air quality using this product and also it's uh, quiet yeah it's it's really quiet and also, it's ozone-free, which means that it is safe for humans and animals. And yeah, they do not emit ozone, this specific product right here, which is the one we reviewed right here in this video right here. So let's take a look at the comparison between the bioplasma, which is this come-together bioplasma air sterilizer, versus your regular plasma sterilizers. Because there are sellers on Shopee selling plasma air sterilizers. Unfortunately, as you can see here, we take a look at the no ozone these plasma generators have ozone in them or they emit ozone unlike the HEPA filter in the bioplasma which doesn't emit ozone which is really good this is really good let's take a look FDA approval as you can see it's FDA approved they have their laboratory testing it has no filter both for the plasma models because you know you just need to brush off any dust using the brush given and uh, as you can see, the HEPA filter, it's in the name, it has a filter, you need to replace every six months. So that's a huge downside using the old technology. It kills bacteria, yeah, they've done animal tests. So you could definitely pause the video if you want to take a look at, you know, their, their claims. Let's move on to virus testing. So human coronavirus, but this is human coronavirus similar to MERS-CoV and SARS-CoV, you know, the two other previous epidemics before. And let's take a look at how this specific product, you know, was effective, you know, in the inactivation efficacy of this device against aerosol virus. Okay, let's take a look. So here are, you know, their methodologies, the calculations. Let's take a look at the table, uh, the titer results. So titer means titration results. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So a virus input load control average. Let's take a look at this. So, uh, the unit is log base 10, TCID base 50. That's the viral load. Uh, it's 4.82. So, you know, quite a number of uh, human coronavirus. 
And after using the Bioplasma device, after 10 minutes and after 30 minutes, we see yeah, everything is reported here as less than 1.83 viral load. So as you can see right here, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look. Um, yeah, viral reduction is 99% for both the 10 minute and 30 minute contact time. So this is this is really good. This is uh, really amazing to see that uh, we have uh, a log base 10 reduction, and uh, yeah, average of two replicates. Yeah, they did do replicates, which is you know really good. You know, I hope they did more replicates and uh, hopefully more laboratories actually test this product. But according to this, uh, you know, uh, laboratory result from Microbac Microbiotest Division. It's definitely effective. And let's take a look at uh, the viral reductions from the Bioplasma device. And uh, all of the controls met the, cr the criteria for a uh, valid test. And uh, yeah, definitely. So these are really good. These are really good. It means that it uh, eliminates uh, the viral load or, you know, uh, the efficacy of uh, the, the virus so it inactivates the virus in, in a sense now let's take a look at the most important you know the most exciting so let's take a look at this so this is korea or i'm so sorry uh, korea biotech kr biotech this is done in seoul korea seoul south korea and this is uh, an institute of infectious disease control this is an independent laboratory study this is our test report so let's take a look at this one so using the plasma air sterilizer, we test the virus SARS-CoV-2. Again, this virus causes the disease called COVID-19. So we keep saying COVID-19, the virus, but you know, SARS-CoV-2 is the virus causing COVID-19, the disease. So just a little clarification. Let's take a look at the test results. Virus reduction rate. After one hour of treatment using the plasma air sterilizer, we have here 96.44% virus reduction rate. That's really good. And after two hours... 99.64% virus reduction rate after using the plasma air sterilizer. So the results are really good. I hope they speak for themselves. Again, take this with a grain of salt if you are quite hesitant. But as you can see, the effect after 1-2 to two hours exposure after pre-operation for 30 minutes in limited space respectively against SARS-CoV-2, 96% virus reduction rate and 99.64% virus reduction rate uh, respectively. So this is uh, stamped and sealed and we have a, a test manager right here. So yeah, this is uh, quite legit in my personal opinion. And uh, you, this is your choice if you want to believe the efficacy of this product. And it's really good. Just from my own independent testing, I know that this product works. But now we have laboratory tests to prove even more that the product really works. And you know, the plate count agar is such a beautiful method of showing that. And this is really amazing. Of course, they have proper equipment. Uh, this is made in USA, uh, this, this uh, bacterial uh, experiment. And it's really, really good to see products like these work. And maybe these products should be researched on a bit more. These products could be used in food environment, you know, uh, biological environment, and uh, clean rooms, domestic pharmaceuticals, you know, in even in personal rooms and workspaces. This could be used for those reasons. Overall, my rating for this product is 10 out of 10. The overwhelming results I achieved in my own room and in my own personal independent experimentation, it's why the reason took so long to make. I wanted to make sure that my procedure was correct and sound, and you know, the results speak for themselves, which they really did. And of course, all of these laboratory tests from different you know, accredited laboratories and also their FDA registration. It just shows that this product is legit. If you want to purchase this product, you can do so in dgrisk.ph on Shopee. Take a look at the reviews of different people and what they have to say about this product. So that's all. And also, they have an outstanding 4.8 stars in all of their products. So that's their rating. Please also check the ratings and reviews from other people just so that you have you know, a different perspective on how they perceive this product. I really recommend this product and really if you want to use this as a gift, definitely go ahead and do so. And if you want to pause and take a look at you know, the different slides in the video, you can definitely do so. The link of this product is in the description as well as the Digital Race Shopee page. And I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please comment down below. 
And I am very sure that I will ask the representative of Come Together to answer your questions and to make sure that you know you have the correct answers when you have questions regarding this product. So of course, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.